Hi, my name is Jeff Solheim with Solheim Enterprises, and welcome to our Trauma Certified Registered Nurse or TCRN exam review course. The main continuum of care starts with injury prevention, moves on to pre hospital, moves on to intra hospital, moves on to rehabilitation, and ends with end of life issues. Okay? So that's kind of the trauma continuum, and that's the things we're going to be covering in this section. So let's start by talking about injury prevention. If a hospital is designated or verified as a trauma system, they have to have an injury prevention program in place. So you will have to have a core knowledge of injury prevention and building an injury prevention program to be successful on this test. There's a good chance you will get some questions on building an injury prevention program because it's a required part of being a trauma designated or verified hospital. Now there's basically three steps to an injury prevention program. The first is determining what type of injury prevention program you're going to design. Okay, so that's going to mean looking at the data for your community and deciding where, um, you know, or what types of injuries occur most frequently in your community. Um, you're going to want to look at, you know, the, the costs associated with those traumas. You're going to want to look at the death rates from those traumas and the injury rates and the amount of money you spend on all the traumas. There's so many factors that go into designing an injury prevention program. The bottom line is we're only going to have a limited amount of money available to build an injury prevention program. And you need to make sure that you pick the injuries that are going to have the greatest impact and get the greatest bang for your buck right? So you're going to want to pick, pick, you know, an injury that's common in your community, or if it's not common, that's costly, one that's likely preventable. I mean, all kinds of factors have to be looked at when designing or when determining what type of injury prevention program to do. So that first step is injury incidents monitored through data collection to determine where the injuries occur and how you can impact them. Then the second step of injury prevention is to look at that data and design an injury prevention program meant specifically to reduce that specific injury. So you're actually going to design an injury prevention program and then implement it. And then, as with any program, you're going to want to evaluate the effectiveness of that injury prevention program after you've done it. It would be useless to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an injury prevention program only to find out after a couple of years that it didn't make any difference, that there's the same number of people injured um, after the injury prevention program as there was before. What a waste, huh? So you got to make sure that you evaluate the effectiveness of the um, injury prevention program on reducing the occurrence of it. 